Hey, hi, today we will be doing a helmet cam with the GoPro Hero camera riding on the Bramo Impulse right here the electric motorcycle, the sport electric motorcycle by Bramo that is charging right now as you can see this one has the all black uh, paint and um, custom stickers and the Ulysses Gizmo let's turn it on Okay, now once you turn it on, when, once you get the ignition going, there's no sound. There's this yellow light that says on, but there's no actual sound. It's completely silent. You don't know it's on unless you check the green lights that, um, you know, like uh, flash in front of you. And that's to let you know that the bike is on so you don't press the accelerator by mistake. So unless you're accelerating, unless you're moving, the bike doesn't sound at all. Once it starts going, it sounds like a jet uh, from the point of, uh, from, from the perspective of the driver. You will s hear this hissing sound, noise. Let's listen. And the people that you pass by will listen to it as well. But it's not as loud as other bikes. But it has this noise, this sound. That particular sound that Bramo makes. Now let's talk more about Bramo themselves. The company, the Bramo. Actually, um, the maker of the impulse, Bramo, the company, is based out of Iceland, Oregon and they uh, first appeared in our radar with the aerial atom around 2005 when they purchased a license to produce to manufacture to assemble the aerial atom in the north american market and the aerial atom is a very exciting car or it was a very exciting car it was an exoskeletal chassis kind of car open wheel that had a Honda Civic Type R engine behind the seats, two-seater, um, with a bunch of options. Uh, the weight to power ratio was like incredible. It was zero to sixty in two point nine seconds, zero to sixty in three point zero seconds. So it's a fast machine, and um, they great. They did a great job on it they had great reviews they move on to, to create the Bramo Inertia which was a commuter electric bike right now they do they still make the Bramo Inertia the Bramo Inertia Plus which uh, they still make and then they move into creating a sports bike a sport electric motorcycle they concentrate on performance they enter the TTX GP um, championship in uh, 2011. They got first place. In um, 2012, they got first place again, racing their special Bramo Impulse Double R Racing electric bike. Now. now we, what we have here is in the market we have the inertia and we have the impulse and the impulse r and as uh, you can see it's very high quality i'm surprised by how good this bike is it has um, different parts the transmissions transmissions is from other company uh, the chassis is made in italy the fork is made in Italy and they're imported but they're all assembled here in America it has Brembo brakes it has generative braking 
and now that we have a nice straight away we we'll show you how the bike is changing gears we're gonna change from first to second and from second to third uh, let's listen up goes really quick the torque that's the one of the advantage of having an electric motorcycle the torque is instantaneous this bike goes from 0 to 60 in 4 seconds and right now it's not in sport mode it's in normal mode we have a uh, sport mode in the next video on the highway we will we'll go into sport mode and changing gears there but right now it's normal mode sport mode is even faster so peace and I'm out.